there Mark fans, happy new year and welcome to Mark's Model Moments. Now today we're doing 10255 and that is a LEGO Creator Expert Assembly Square. This set is a very special anniversary set celebrating 10 years of modular buildings. This set was released 1st of January 2017, comes with 4,002 pieces, 8 minifigures, 1 baby fig and it costs $179.99 in the UK. If you'd like to see the build then click on the link in the bottom left or the one in the description but if you want to see the review then just stay on this video. So here it is then the completed assembly square. This is by far the best modular building that has come out to date. All the little nods and all the little easter eggs that can be found in here. I'm not going to spoil them all into this I'm just going to show you the main parts uh, but you know there is a lot of good stuff in in here and a lot of things from all the other sets put together. We'll talk about the minifigures as well as we go along. I've put them in different rooms so I can talk about them uh, with the review. And uh, we'll go through each room in turn as well. First of all, let's talk about this path here. Got some great details in, on here. The, the checkerboard styles in front of the doorway. The fountain is absolutely fantastic. There's even a little alleyway at the back uh, going through to the back door of the florist. And uh, a nice little uh, bit of empty space just at the back here as well. It looks great. Fantastic details. And uh, outside the cafe here you've got a couple of outside tables and a little chihuahua. Talk about this minifigure. Uh, like with a lot of the modular uh, builds you got a pretty standard minifigure you know nothing nothing too special uh, about it but it does look kind of cool it does look good and she comes with this great pram and uh, baby micro figure I'll just tip the baby out uh, I've got a few of these now I do like the little babies it's uh, pretty cool very cute and it's a nice pram mini build as well so we'll talk, we'll talk about the buildings now. I'll, I'll go through it from top to bottom uh, and I'll take each room off individually and talk about each different room. Start off with these on this on the left. I'll just pull the roof off first. Uh, as you can see, nice, nice, nice uh, roof. Great skylight on this. And a, a nice little uh, hatch for access as well. Looking around the sides, fantastic scroll working all the way around the sides here with a nice shield on the corner. Now the way these two rooms are made, uh, you can put them in any order. I like to put this room on the top, but in the instructions it's the other way around. Uh, but I like this room on the top. It's a, uh, a music shop uh, with a till there, and it's got this great mini build of the, the drum set just in the corner. There's a couple of guitars hung up on the wall. Uh, and I suppose if you did uh, work on it a little bit, you could probably put extra ones of them as, as well. To, to finish off, we've got the minifigure again you know kind of a standard minifigure but i like this the hair on this uh this figure really nicely detailed and i almost forgot about the saxophone nice little build and it's a cool little stand that you get to build up for that as well we'll go down the floor now and we'll just pull this this off this is a nice little ballerina studio uh with a piano there as again another great mini build uh nice stool as well that is mostly it for the details apart from if i do turn this around you see this fantastic mirror which has got great reflection to it uh it's a nice piece it's not a sticker it is a very good piece very good mirror reflection to it and uh i'll just pull the minifigure out a nice nice minifigure again uh great accessory here with the tutu so we'll talk about this side now. This uh, roof is a little plainer on top, no skylight, uh, which is a bit of a shame, but it does have fantastic scroll work again going around the outside. Uh, these two motifs on the top, the rooster and just a plain one on this side. And to finish it off, it's got this great tower. Uh, these windows do open if you did want to, uh, with some nice decorations on the top there. So we'll start on this side now, uh, start with this top top floor here, all of this comes off in one section which uh, can be a bit cumbersome but it's very cool that it comes off in one section and I'll turn it around and talk about the back first. Nice open uh, kitchen area here, well I think it's more of a, a barbecue place, it's got the chimney there as well. Pretty cool uh, with uh, the door leading into the main apartment area but I do like this uh, that it's an open air place. It does look a little weird but... 
I like it and it, it's pretty nice overall. We'll move around the apartment. This is known as the, the Lego collector's apartment because there's, uh, there's some micro models in here. Got a great train set uh, here. I, I like to think of this as some sort of Minecraft <laughs> section maybe. Uh, something like that. The train going through the tunnel just there. And uh, I'll just tilt that so you can see the tunnel. And on the shelf here there's another train uh, with a carriage on there. If you look into the corner, just into the bay window here, uh, you've got a Eiffel Tower micro build uh, and you can see that from the outside through the window as well which is very nice indeed and I'll just turn this around so on the shelf here there are some micro builds of old modular buildings we have the cafe corner, the greengrocer and uh, Market Street I believe speaking of old modulars this room does have a great printed tile it is a Lego printed tile version of the Cafe Corner and it has some fantastic detailing on this. Uh, it, it has the model number and uh, the it has the model number and the 16 plus and everything you'd expect to see on a front of a modular box. A couple of last things to mention in here. It's a bit hard to do one handed uh, but you've got this great red sofa that is also a fold out bed. It's harder to actually put that back into sofa mode uh, it, it's quite fiddly to do that, put it back in as a sofa, uh, but it looks cool either way. And then you've got a nice little toilet here uh, with an overhead flush. We'll move down another floor. Again, this all comes off as one huge piece. Uh, again, it's a bit awkward to hold in one hand, uh, but we'll talk about the back room first. It, it's very cool all, all over the place, uh, but the back room is a great photography studio. I think my favourite micro build, or my favourite mini build in this set, is this tripod camera. Uh, it's very nice, and you can kind of you can position it in many different ways on here. There's a lot of movement on the on the camera, and it looks it looks cool anyway. Uh, and also, if you did want to, you can pop that out pretty easily. On the back here that the tripod is pointing to is an infinity background with the curve. Uh, great detail in there for a photography studio, having that infinity background. Uh, and the last thing to talk about in here is this minifigure. This is my least favourite minifigure just because he reminds me of the guy from Mythbusters. Moving around to the dentist's office, uh, I want to talk about this uh, printed window on the outside first. This is very funny. Prevents yellowing dentist. Uh, that is a very nice in joke of old... Uh, Lego sets where the whites have gone a bit yellow. So yeah, prevent the yellowing. But inside here, nicely detailed, very nicely detailed. Uh, great dentist chair. We'll just turn this around uh, so you can see it properly. Great dentist chair and it does lean back and you've got this light. It's a little stiff to move this light and angle this light. Uh, but you can position this in different places uh, so he can do his work. And also you've got a nice tray of uh, tools here. What I find funny about the dentist is uh, usually uh, the reception area and the uh, dentist chairs are, are in different uh, places behind the door but on this this dentist is so uh, confident that he, he gives zero pain and zero discomfort that he'll just have his people waiting here uh, just watching him work on his current patient. Get the minifigure out this is quite a plain minifigure. Uh, I think I might change the trousers on this to, to white. I'm not sure. Uh, but I do like it as it is. I like the hair. And I, I do like the printing on the uh, the front and the back of this minifigure. The rest of this is all on the ground floor. And it is pretty cool. There's a lot of detail in here. Uh, one of the things I, I, I enjoyed the detective's office two years ago. You know, I still enjoy it now. But when it came out two years ago, I enjoyed it because you got a lot of buildings. Uh, well, a lot of different businesses on the same uh, build but you didn't really have play space like the, the the barber shop was really difficult to actually do anything with um, but on this because it's a bigger base plate this is uh, 32 by 48 uh, for the size of the base plate and uh, you've, you've got space to actually uh, enjoy and put minifigures around and actually do diff some different things in here uh, going to be moving this entire thing uh, but we'll start off with the cake shop over here oh whatever it is it's the cafe uh it's very cool on the inside let's talk about this minifigure before going into more detail on the cafe uh, i think this is my favorite minifigure from the set 
it's uh, fantastically printed. I like the, the, the way that the apron starts up here, finishes on the legs, and uh, it's even got a bit of back printing as well. Cool midi figure, I do really like it. Let's talk a bit more in detail about the coffee shop then. Uh, it's got a great coffee machine at the back uh, with all the dials on and stuff like that. You've got a couple of coffee cups. These pieces of pie, uh, I really want to eat uh, eat some of this pie because it looks very, very tasty. Uh, I'll just uh, pull pull one out. These are great printed pieces. Uh, the, these pie pieces, fantastic. And you get you get a few in the set. Uh, so that's that's pretty cool. Nice uh, couch in the window there with a uh, with a table there, and uh, that customer, if uh, well, if there was a customer, they bought a piece of pie. A nice table lamp as well. As you see at the back here, uh, this this is the stairs to go up to the upper businesses, and the door is in the alleyway, uh, just underneath the vines here. To finish off the cafe, there's a fantastic sign at the front. I really like the way this has been made, and uh, with the white flame piece uh, to uh, signify the steam coming out of the coffee cup we'll go on to the move on to the florist now and uh, first of all it's a great front of uh, front of shop is this just behind the fountain there got got the roses in front fantastic little build there and i like the flower beds just outside as well inside here you've got a great amount of space to be able to put extra mini figures in there uh, a nice uh, flap on the on the counter there so the mini figure can get in and out from behind there there's a parrot in there as well which is kind of cool and i really do like uh, the the flower uh, bouquets at the back because they're all they all come out as individual uh, items so that is very very cool indeed and uh, yeah nice till work and I, I really do like uh, this this room just pulled the minifigure out I think this may be a bit too plain but you know it looks cool and I like the detailing on the necklace so we're coming to the final room of this massive set and this is such an awesome set all over the place there's really cool features and that and that's no different when you get to the bakery it looks fantastic again there's a lot of space inside here a, a, a different build of a till and uh, these cakes look very very tasty indeed just in the window there you've got a couple of uh, cakes that side if i'm but if i just pull this around this side uh, i'll show you this uh, from the outside as well but you've got a great wedding cake there and i love the micro builds of the bride and groom on top uh in the uh you know the tuxedo and the wedding dress and there's a yellow stud in there uh, for the face fantastic stuff really tasty looking wedding cake let's talk about this uh, minifigure we've seen this uh print before it's a good print and uh I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I'll just talk about this uh, back wall now. This is very awkward to uh, do, but on this uh, back wall, there's a great shelving unit uh, filled with cakes uh, and uh, desserts in general. Looks very cool, and I do like it. Turning this round, uh, there is a little bit of a play function on this. There is a button around the back, just underneath the staircase. And if I, you know, you just open up the uh, the door here, of the of the oven and just just there pushing out you can push out the uh, the cakes that have just been baked i think that's pretty cool and you can push that back in and just close the door and the button is very nicely concealed just behind just underneath this staircase here to the access to the upper floors uh for the buildings above here uh, is up the stairs and uh, out this back door here the bakery and the florist are connected with a little doorway here which i think is kind of cool it's strange but kind of cool before we finish i'm just going to bring the camera down so you can see the great windows that are on the front of this it is a fantastic window build i i absolutely love these windows they're they're clear garage door slats we've seen this uh type of thing before uh on the top of the town hall where they would use the skylights but this is fantastic a little bit fiddly to get in there but very effective great windows and you can see that wedding cake again straight through that window one of the best detailings of this entire build is are, are these windows 
At 180 pounds, this is a expensive set. It's a very, very expensive set. But for your money, you get a hell of a lot of play value. 4,002 bricks. This is absolutely fantastic. You will love building this if you can afford it and if you if you have got the other modular buildings. Even if you haven't got the other modular buildings and you are thinking of getting one, I would say get this one. This is a lot of fun. There are other ones um, and it does matter on what you want for your city. But I would say for the play value of it, uh, for the fact that you get, you do get an apartment, you get a dentist, you get a photographic studio, music, um, music shop, ballet shop, you get a cafe, you get all of this stuff all in one building. And it looks great, even if you bought it just to display. It looks fantastic. It is a display model, it is a play model, it is a great model. I can't praise this enough. All I can say is it is fantastic. I love this and I can't wait to build my city around this set. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next Baltimore moment. Good day.